Today we are off to repair, and by repair I mean replace, the radiator in the D17, which as I mentioned before, blew in the field. Since I don't have a real shop right now, we're just going to do it out in the middle of the field so I don't have to tow it back. Saving a step. Well, there it is, right where we left it. This is where it got stuck. And this is where I blew the radiator. So, first thing we're gonna do to replace this thing is we gotta take all the sheet metal off. So after you take the sides and the grill off, the next thing you wanna do is remove the two screws underneath the center piece. undoing the center strap I like to undo the bolts at the back too you don't have to take them all the way out but that way it's loose enough that it's not fighting against the sheet metal in the front of the hood we got to undo the bolts holding the radiator shroud hood sheet metal piece at the bottom to the frame rails. As you can see, she's pretty, pretty banged up. Surprisingly, that's not where it's leaking from. It's coming from up here somewhere. Next, we're gonna pull the drain plug, drain the fluid out of it. Next, we'll remove the upper radiator hose. Next we'll remove the lower radiator hose and it's very difficult to get at from here so you can remove it up here or up at the water pump even. The choice is yours. Next we'll loosen up the two mounting bolts on the front. Next, we'll pull the breather for the power steering off. And then, we just have to finagle the radiator around the fan shroud. And it's off. All right, these radiators are about a dime a dozen. You can get them on Amazon even now. rate them as pretty okay.
All right, so when you buy one of these, it's gonna run you about $500, and you get a radiator, nothing else. You'll need the cap, and you'll need to make a piece of flex hose for your overfill. So all you get is this piece of steel. It does have the fan shroud on it, but that's about it. So next what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our lower hose that we left on, undo it down here, put it on here, get ready to put this back on the tractor. I'm gonna point my adjuster on this hose clamp back towards me so I can get at it without having to pull the whole radiator. That way I can still adjust where that hose is going to go. Now we're just going to make sure the two pads it sits on are nice and clean. And then we're going to bolt it back onto where it was with the two mounting bolts. And I apologize for the camera angles. There's not a whole lot of places I can clamp my camera to out in the middle of the field. mounting bolts back in. And they're a three quarter inch socket in case you were wondering. Since those are back on, get the breather filler reattached. Next we'll hook the hoses back up. You can already see right there, that's a much better point to put that hose clamp at. Now we just gotta tighten up that one and the top one. Next, we'll put the top hose clamp back on, just like that. Now we can put the front hood surround back on. So usually you want to put your overflow tube on there before you put the hood on, but I didn't bring one with me, so I'm going to take care of it later. But you just slide it on and you want to go down through the surround and out the side on the bottom. There's loops on the side of the radiator. Pretty straightforward. However, if you're like me and you didn't bring a tube in the middle of the field where your tractor died, the next thing you'll do is start putting the center crossbar on and then side panels and the grill and fill it up with coolant and we're pretty much done. So 
last but not least is the grill which if yours is like mine is the most difficult part because it's been bent out of shape over many many years have it guys that's how you change your radiator on a d17 alice hope you guys at least found this video a little bit helpful would have been better if we did in the shop but circumstances didn't allow for it so stay tuned for the next one we got lots more coming thanks again